So here we are looking at FPMI. This is the daily chart, and we have an interesting little setup taking place here from two different perspectives. One, just simply from the overall pattern that's taking shape, and secondly, from the volume perspective. For those of you that follow uh, the video charts or the newsletter, uh, you know that a uh, di favorite dynamic of ours is to use um, volume as a leading indicator because it, d it has done a good job and just traditionally does a good job of uh, forecasting potential upwards moves. Um, so with this one, you'll see as we go through it that uh, the pattern kind of leads into the whole volume aspect. So let's just get started and get this chart mapped out from a technical perspective. So we're going to start by drawing out this pattern. Uh, the first portion of the pattern is just this downtrend line. So we'll make that red because it is the resistance portion of the pattern. And then we have the bottom area of the pattern, which is this uptrend line. So we'll get this changed to green to represent support. So what does this pattern mean? Well, well the chart is technically in a downtrend, as you can see by this uh, trend line here. At the same time, it's also in an uptrend which gives us this wedge or symmetrical triangle, whatever you want to call it. But if you notice here, you can see that the chart is beginning to run out of room. So at some point, the price is going to need a decision. Now, whether that be up or down remains to be seen, but this leads us into our next point about this volume bar down here. You can see that this volume was well above anything that's been seen for a while. So this is you know, definitely well above average volume. So seeing that and then seeing how the price reacted, uh, you know, I think it gives the advantage to the bulls here going forward uh, to a potential, you know, breakout of this pattern. Now, had this big volume come in and, you know, the price gone down or just had a nasty day, obviously that, that's where the price, uh, you know, where the advantage would go to the bears. But being big volume and then a nice green day, uh, it's looking like the bulls are trying to, uh, you know, get hopefully ready for a bigger move. This was followed by three days here of consolidation, low volume. Uh, sideways action and from a volume analysis standpoint that's the exact thing you want to see during consolidation or sideways days just low volume compared to the upwards days so there you know no uh, you know nothing out of the ordinary just like you'd want to see it but the resistance here so if this move or if this move of volume leads to an upwards move in price which hopefully it does uh, the first test or going to be uh, you know test of the strength of the move is going to be this resistance line right here which looks to be right in the high 90s you know this is a dynamic line meaning it changes with time but up here in the upper 90s will be uh, you know the key level of resistance so if there's a upwards move in price uh, you know the question to ask yourself well how strong is this upwards move and this line right here will be a great uh, way to answer your question if the price can explode through it then obviously it's a pretty darn strong move on the flip side, the key level of support right now is going to be right down here, right in the 70s. Again, this is a dynamic uh, level, meaning it's going upwards with time. So you can't put an exact value on it. But looking over here, you can see it's right here in the 70s somewhere. So um, high 90s is going to be the, or I should say mid to high 90s, it will be the key level of resistance. And then right here, looks like mid 70s uh, is going to be the key level of support uh, to, to make sure that the uh, chart stays within this pattern here. If the price does break out of the pattern, the next level of resistance is going to be from this previous high over here at $1.09. So that's a nice little move that the price could make going forward. So again, if it can break up through this high 90s, the next level of resistance is not going to be up here until right around $1.09. And then after that, you can see it's basically a blue sky breakout. So $1.09 is going to be the blue sky breakout level. But obviously, one step at a time, let's first see if we can get a breakout through the symmetrical triangle. And, you know, based on the strength of that, you know, $1.09 might be right around the corner pretty quickly. So uh, bottom line, uh, I'd say get this one on your radars because with this volume, uh, increase in volume here, could just be a matter of time now before the bulls make the upwards move through this um, symmetrical triangle pattern. If there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, thanks for watching, and remember to get FPMI on those watch lists.